Okay, this week has seen the release of two new AI models. OpenAI have released GPT 5.1 Codex and Anthropic have released Claude Opus 4.5. From my testing so far, these are two of the strongest models available. So in this video, I'm going to put them head to head and see which one can build the best game. So we've got our split screen set up in cursor here. On the left, we've got GPT 5.1 Codex Max selected as our model with agent full access mode. It has an empty project directory here. On the right hand side, also with its own empty project directory, we have Claude with Opus 4.5 selected in our cursor chat. I've prepared a prompt ahead of time on a tower builder game. This is going to test the model's ability to implement physics based mechanisms and also timing and precision. So I'll paste that prompt in shortly. We'll observe the build process. We'll analyze the build time, the code structure, and finally we'll jump into dev mode and test the game. So let's get started and see who does the best job. Okay, we've got the prompts pasted in both chat windows. We can see it says you are building a tower builder game similar in spirit to the classic stack the block style mobile games. Please create a complete, visually appealing, fully playable tower builder game with the following requirements. And then we've just got core gameplay that needs to be included. The style in the visuals we've left up to the models to decide how they want to do it and what theme they want to use. We've also allowed the models to choose their preferred tech stack so they can decide how they best want to implement this game. So it's a very open-ended prompt here where the models have the freedom and flexibility to design the game however they want. So we'll hit send here on this prompt and see how they go about the build process. We can see that Opus 4.5 is still building the game but it's actually opened the game up in a dev server here and it is testing the game. So we can see it's spun up a browser sub agent and it's testing the features right now. We can hear the audio and see the screen. So this is a really cool feature of Opus 4.5. It actually uses a browser sub agent to test the game and you can watch the exact test process it goes through. So we've got a bit of a spoiler ahead of time in regards to what the Opus 4.5 tower builder game is going to look like. But as we can see here, it is still working on the right hand side we can see our conversation is continuing where it is testing all of these features we can see its thought process as well and the feedback loop of the test that it's running we'll probably test opus 4.5 first in full once it's finished the response now that we've seen how the game works but i just wanted to show you the testing process it goes through as part of the build because it's really impressive it's a highlight of opus 4.5 Okay, both models have now finished the build. GPT 5.1 Codex Max took 7 minutes and 5 seconds. Opus 4.5 took 8 minutes and 7 seconds. So pretty similar. Opus took an extra minute. But that testing process it goes through is potentially a reason why it takes a little bit longer. From my other tests I've done previously on Codex, it's usually the slowest model out of all of them. But it does usually get the best build results. So it's interesting to see here that Opus 4.5 took a bit longer than Codex in Max mode. We'll now jump over to Dev mode and test the games. We'll start with Opus 4.5 given that we've already had a little sneak peek of that game. So here we are in Dev mode with the Opus 4.5 version. I like the UI here with the headline. It's got a shimmering effect and it shakes as well. So it's pretty cool that it's kind of animated. Neon Tower Stack to the Sky is the name of the game. We've got our Start Game button here, so we'll click Start and see how we go. Okay, so we can see we've got an animated background here. Our tower tile is floating left to right along the bottom, and we've got our score top left. So I'll try and line this tile up here, and we'll see how high we can build it and test the mechanism. I'm not sure if that is how it's meant to operate, where we're kind of building a staircase rather than a tower. I click sort of early and it just sort of, they end up hanging off the end. So I'm not sure if that's by design that it's meant to go that way. See if I can get a little bit higher this game. That one C is hanging off the edge, so I'm not sure if that's how it's meant to work. But there's Opus 4.5. We'll jump over now and have a look at Codex. Okay, here we have the Codex version. We can see it's called Neon Skyline Pulse Tower. We've got a score and a restart button. It's just started up automatically when I've launched it in dev mode. And it says click or press spacebar to drop the tile to build the tower. So we will hit that and see how we go. This seems like it's operating more like what I expected from a tower game where it's just getting added on top. 
and then I've missed the tower there just so we'll hit restart and try it again but this is what I expected where the opus one was kind of building a staircase and moving it left to right whereas this one I can clearly build up which makes a bit more sense from a stack the block tower builder style game So running out of space already, but starting to get up there. Oh, we're at just about out here, I think. Somehow managing to keep this going. Okay, and there we go. So we've lost. So that's a look at the Codex version. The game mechanism is better on the codex side. That's kind of how I expected the tower builder to work, where we build up rather than the Opus 4.5 version where we were building left to right. From a UI perspective, I actually prefer the Opus 4.5 version. I like that it had audio built in as well, plus the theme and the UI design I thought was just a bit better than the codex version. From a functionality perspective though, you'd have to give the points in this case to Codex. So I might give Opus 4.5 a chance to review its work. I'll mention the experience we had where the tower was kind of building left to right instead of vertically. We'll see if it acknowledges that and potentially fixes it. But from a first one-shot build test, it's kind of an even result, I think, in my opinion. The UI, I prefer Opus 4.5 but Codex has probably done better with the actual game mechanism. So we'll jump back over and prompt Opus and see what it says. Okay, so I followed up with Opus 4.5 and explained the issue, and it said it's found the cause of the issue and fixed it. So we'll test it now to see if it has, in fact, fixed the issue. It does look like it's kind of building up vertically now. I lost a fair bit of it there on that first one, though. Try again. It's saying perfect even though it doesn't line up. You've got to kind of press it a bit earlier, it looks like. It is building it up vertically now at least, so it has fixed it in a way, so it's definitely better. I'd probably go back and prompt again though, because a few times it doesn't seem like it lines up when you click where it should. It did improve it, but hasn't fully fixed it. So the big takeaway from this test is that these two models could actually complement each other. Opus 4.5 consistently delivers a far better UI. It's clean, polished, and more modern looking than what I usually get from Codex. And that was shown again in this demo here. On the flip side, Codex nailed the game mechanics, the logic, the movement, the collision detection. All of that was more reliable on the Codex side. So if I were building a game, I'd probably combine them. I'd let Codex handle the functionality and let Opus 4.5 design the UI on top. That seems like the strongest workflow based on today's results. If you want to see me test these models in other scenarios, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And thanks for watching.